For those of you who have been following our work here at WAM Engineering, you know that, well, it was our company that brought to the public's attention this thing called Zenith Error. And um, I'm not going to go into what it is. You can, in this video anyway, you can watch the videos we've done on this already. I've never done a video before on the Wally Zenith, which is the tool that we use to correct for Zenith Error. So that's what we'll focus on today. The two occasions in which you would use the Wally Zenith are, well, first, if we've determined your Zenith error by way of an analysis here in the lab because you've sent your cartridge to us for analysis. The second way is to do it by ear, and I'll talk about that. The Wally Zenith is a mirrored disc, very much like the Wally tractor. Um, but it is arrayed with a series of uh, radial lines, and on each radial line there are a set of cantilever alignment marks. And you notice if you look closely that these alignment marks are not perpendicular to the radial line. They change, each radial line of marks changes by a half a degree increment from positive 8 degrees in half a degree increments all the way down to negative 8 degrees. And this, and each one of these alignment patterns and these radial lines are then prescribed to people who send their cartridges to us for analysis to align their cartridge at. So if, say for example if you send our, your cartridge to us here in the lab and it's got minus 4.5 degrees of zenith error then you will use the minus 4.5 degree radial line to correct for that zenith error, which essentially purposefully misaligns your cantilever by 4.5 degrees in the opposite direction of the zenith error, so that you can have the benefit of the left contact edge of your stylus and the right channel contact edge of your stylus read the groove simultaneously in time. Now you can also use the Wally Zenith to Correct for your Zenith error by ear. And we've included these instructions in the written manual for the Wally Zenith that you can download from our website. And these instructions offer you a way to use your ears to listen for the left contact edge of the stylus and the right channel contact edge of the stylus come into focus in time with each other. I am aware of somewhere around 30 to 35 occasions where I know people have used the Wally Zenith to uh, use their ears to optimize for stylus Zenith error. And in every case that I've heard from these people, they all claim that they can hear, and this surprised the heck out of me, they all claim that they could hear a difference as little as a half a degree. They all used similar adjectives to describe what it was like when they finally came to the proper radial line to eliminate zenith error and they used adjectives like focus and clarity and elimination of grunge and, and haze. And I'd certainly describe it that way that when you eliminate zenith error everything just comes into focus and there's this incredible separation of instruments in the sound stage. The clarity increases, inner detail increases, most people live with Zenith error and will have no idea what it sounds like. You could be living with 10 degrees of Zenith error, even though that's far beyond manufacturer's uh, tolerance, um, and not know it. And enjoy the performance of your cartridge, not knowing it should sound a heck of a lot better. Now, I'm not going to pretend that listening for zenith error correction by ear is uh, a job that goes quickly or doesn't exact some sort of tedium to it. It does. It takes some patience. But I, I can assure you that the payoff is there when you get there. There's also one record in particular that I want you to use. That's the, uh, this one right here. It's an analog productions of uh, Masterpieces by Ellington. It's a mono recording. And it's very important that you only use the 33 RPM version of this. We need that slower, we need the, 
the, the groove content to be more condensed. So 45 PM will not do. And the other reason why I want this record in particular for you in this evaluation is because we've measured this record in the laboratory using a method we came up with and have determined that the cutting zenith error, that is the degree to which they placed the cutting stylus into the chuck properly so that the left and right portion of the cutting stylus were cutting evenly in time or in, in step with each other is, is less than a half a degree for, for this cut. You can imagine that it's important for this process if you are going to establish your zenith error correction by ear that you should use a evaluation record that has already been predetermined to have been cut properly. You'd be surprised how many are not. I talk about that in other videos as well. It's also important when you do this evaluation by ear that you're using this record and playing it at a specific playing radius, radius that you can determine with the pivot to spindle ruler that came with the Wally tractor. It has a little nipple on the end here that fits perfectly into the hole in your record to determine where that radius is. Follow the instructions for more. When using the Wally Zenith to aim at a particular correction value that's established in your uh, cartridge analysis report that we do here in the lab, by first aligning at your targeted radial line, let's say it's negative 3.5 degrees. If you then look at your alignment at points number one or two, those are the null points, if you look at your alignment at negative three, which is a half a degree away, and also at negative four, which is a half a degree away from your target, but in the opposite direction, it will train you to be sensitive to what 0 0.5 degrees even looks like. And when you can see just a tiny bit of error in one direction on one of those lines, say negative three, and a tiny bit of error in the opposite direction at negative four, then you become trained to be very sensitive to what half degree looks like. And as I've mentioned before, we've got more than 30 people now have reported to me they can hear a half a degree of difference. I did not anticipate that the human ear would be as sensitive as, as it is to half a degree. But they insist that when they snap it into just that right alignment mark, everything just crystallizes and comes into focus. So that's what I hope you can experience with uh, the Wally Zenith. As mentioned before in our other videos on Zenith Air, the three major manufacturers of stylus cantilever assemblies have plus minus five degrees of tolerance with this, with regards to their Zenith error tolerance. I've seen as much as 20.2 20 point, 20 point degrees, which is <laughs> crazy that that should even exist, but um, I've seen it. I've seen 10 degrees and more many times over. The industry is a bit of a mess in this regard. And most people will never know that they've got a cartridge that exceeds tolerance. You'll never know that you've got one at five. But when you hear it after having been corrected, you'll never go back. We've limited the Wally Zenith to plus minus eight degrees of correction. Many head shells won't even offer a full eight degrees of correction. And, you know, if you're past five, technically speaking, you've got a warranty claim but without laboratory inspection, you're probably a little short of having enough evidence to make a warranty claim. If say you end up at seven degrees um, for your optimal listening experience. But if you send it to us here in the laboratory, we can know for sure. So as you may know, we have a, what's mounting to a very large collection of uh, educational uh, videos related to analog optimization on our website and on our YouTube channel. Uh, we've got, of course, our blog as well with some articles um, allowing you to do a little deeper dive into various topics. And, uh, of course, the Wally Zenith is available on our website. If you have any questions, just reach out to us. Uh, we're easy to get hold of. And remember, enjoy analog forever.